G'day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can connect a microphone to your GoPro Hero 10 Black. If you're a person who wants to use your GoPro for vlogging, it's important to connect a good third-party microphone so you have good audio. Now there's two different ways in which we can do it, and I'm gonna show you both methods. And we're gonna go over a couple different microphones here. I've got the Rode Video Micro, it's a shotgun style microphone, and I've got the Rode Wireless Go 2. This is a wireless microphone system but it has more of an omnidirectional sound. So we'll talk about the differences and the pros and cons of each. Now, if you're brand new and you've just picked up your first GoPro and it's the Hero 10 Black, in order to connect a microphone, you must use some form of adapter. There is no way you can connect a microphone directly to the GoPro. And unfortunately, you do have to use GoPro products. You can't pick up a third-party microphone adapter. There's plenty of different microphone adapters that have a USB-C to the microphone jack, but those will not work with a GoPro. Now, with the launch of the Hero 8 Black, GoPro did make it a little bit easier because they launched something called the Media Mod, and it made the whole setup a little bit more streamlined and easier to connect. So that's one way we're going to look at. And the other way is by using the microphone adapter that GoPro sells. This was launched alongside of the Hero 5 Black, but it is still compatible with the Hero 10 Black. So let's start with the most common way that people are connecting microphone nowadays, and probably the easiest, and that is using the Media Mod. The Media Mod that was sold alongside the Hero 9 Black is compatible with the Hero 10 Black. So if you're going to be purchasing one and you're looking on Amazon, you want one that either says Hero 10 Black or Hero 9 Black. And I'll include all the links to the products I'm using in this video down in the description. So this MIDI mod serves a few purposes, but the main thing that a lot of people use it for is the ability to connect a microphone. As you can see at the back here, when we open up that bottom rubber flap, there is a microphone jack built into it. Now the Media Mod does have its own microphone built into it that supposedly is better than the microphones that are built into the GoPro, but in my opinion, after using the different Media Mods, I don't really say they're much better. You're still better off to attach your own microphone. The other benefit of using the Media Mod is that it does have the built-in cold shoes, which is another thing we're gonna need in order to connect some form of microphone. So in the end, it is a really nice streamlined way to add a microphone. So to use it here, we first have to remove the door of the GoPro. It's designed to come right off. We're gonna open up the media mod, slide the GoPro in, make sure it's connected in there properly. At this point, you're gonna take some form of microphone, whatever you decide to go with, and we can just pick whatever cold shoe works best for you. You do have to watch out, however, when you're attaching a shotgun style microphone. If it's too long, it could end up in the field of view of your camera, so just be careful of that. We'll take the other end of the TRS cable and plug it into the back of the media mod. And that's it. That's all you have to do. When you power on your GoPro, it's going to know right away that it's installed in the media mod. And it's also going to know that there is a third-party microphone attached. So it will disable that built-in microphone. There's nothing you have to go in and change in the settings. Just plug in your microphone and it will be ready to use. Of course, you can flip the microphone around to whatever works best for the situation you're filming. You might be doing some commentary or you might be doing some vlogging using the front selfie screen, and then of course you want the microphone facing yourself. So that is the first method, and that is probably the easiest. The second method, as mentioned, is by using the microphone adapter that GoPro sells. Now the problem using this microphone adapter is it can become a little bit of an issue. You got this big bulky adapter hanging off your GoPro. Now some companies like Ulanzi here have made vlogging cages, they call it. And what it does is it actually has a little spot to hold the microphone adapter. On top of that, it does have various cold shoes on it that allows you to attach your microphone. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at how that works here. So again, we gotta remove the door first. And we're gonna take the Ulanzi vlogging cage now they actually sell a couple different models of this and there's other companies that sell them as well. But it is a good idea if you are going to be purchasing or you're going this route to make sure you get one that does have a microphone adapter holder. Otherwise it's going to be dangling around your GoPro and be quite distracting. So to use this one, the first thing we're going to do is pull that back door off and then we have to pull the side door off. This has its own specialized side door. You can see there there's a cutout and that allows the microphone adapter to be connected but still have a side door on. We're gonna take the GoPro and just slide it in there. We'll then take that back door. That'll secure the GoPro inside. We'll take the side door. We're just gonna slide it in and that's gonna lock the GoPro in, keep the battery and everything secure inside. As you can see there, as mentioned, we have that cutout for the microphone adapter and that's just gonna plug in there like that. We'll just fold the GoPro microphone adapter around and just slide it into that bottom opening. And again, we'll pick whatever cold shoe works best for us. We do have one at the side here, and we do have one at the top. Now, the nice thing about this vlogging cage is that they give you this kind of extender. This actually comes right off if you're not gonna use it. You can see it's just another cold shoe underneath there. But what this does 
it raises the microphone up. So when you lock it in there, you can see it is quite a bit higher. So that'll prevent it from becoming within the field of view, especially if you're filming at a wide field of view. You don't have to worry about the microphone being in the top of your shot. Once you have the microphone attached, again, we're just going to connect it to the microphone adapter. And again, when you turn on your GoPro, it's gonna know that there's a microphone attached, even though we don't have a media mod connected to it. It's gonna know because the microphone adapter is basically gonna tell it that there's a microphone attached. So it will disable the onboard microphones and just use the microphone that you have attached. There are some settings you can change depending on what kind of microphone you have attached. I'll just show you that here quickly. If we go to our settings by swiping down, we'll slide over, we'll go to preferences, and we're gonna scroll down to where it says mods. And you can see there, it says media mod at the bottom. Now, even though we don't actually have the media mod attached to it, we can still go in there to adjust our microphone parameters. And you can see there, it gives us some options. It gives us standard mic, standard mic plus, powered mic, powered mic plus, and line in. And all that means is, for example, this microphone here that I have, doesn't run on a battery. There's no battery powering this microphone. It uses power right from the jack. So we would select standard microphone. If we were gonna use a higher end microphone like this one here, this is the Rode Mic NTG. This one here is a powered microphone. So it actually has a battery in it that you have to charge up. If we were gonna use a microphone like this, we would then select powered microphone. And the other two settings there you can see, like I said, it has standard mic and standard mic plus. Basically, the standard mic plus is going to give you an audio boost of 20 decibels. And you would use that if you find the recording isn't quite loud enough. By default, it's always going to go to standard microphone. So that's something you don't have to adjust if you're just plugging in a normal microphone. You don't actually have to go in and change anything. If you did go in and adjust it to something, it will hold that in its memory. So you don't have to go in every time and change that. If you set it to a powered mic, the next time you power on your GoPro and you've attached a powered mic to it, it's going to remember that. You don't have to go in and change any settings. You can just go in and start recording. Now, lastly, let's talk about what microphone might be best choice for you. As mentioned, here is a shotgun style microphone. This is a microphone that I use quite a bit when filming with GoPros. Um, I actually have one attached to my smartphone right now. It's what I'm recording on. Uh, the nice thing about it, it doesn't cost a lot of money compared to some microphones. I do believe it's around the $59 mark, uh, maybe a little bit more, but it's a good versatile mic. Uh, the other nice thing is that it's fairly compact compared to that other one that I shown you earlier. This one's quite large and bulky. It's kind of a little bit unproportionate to the GoPro. So one like this works quite well. Now, the nice thing about a shotgun style microphone is that it is a directional microphone. That means it's going to focus on sound that it's pointed at. So if you're doing some vlogging and you have the microphone pointed at yourself, it's going to focus on your voice. A lot of the background sound is going to be removed. So that works really well in situations where you've got, say, a lot of street noise, cars driving by, perhaps you're in a busy situation, a lot of people talking around you. This is going to focus on what it's pointed at. So in those situations, it works really well. In other situations, not quite so much. Like for example, if you're trying to get some ambient noise, you want to pick up everything around you. You would want something like a omnidirectional microphone. And uh, the Rode Wireless Go 2 is a good omnidirectional microphone. Plus you have the bonus of it being wireless. For the most part, these are the microphones that I use when uh, filming with a GoPro. There's basically two components. There's the receiver. This is what we connect to the GoPro. And this is the transmitter. This is actually the microphone. So to use the Rode Wireless Go, we're just going to connect it. I usually use the side cold shoe there. We'll take the TRS cable that comes with it. And just like when we connected the shotgun microphone, we'll just plug it into the microphone jack there. And that's basically it. And as mentioned, the transmitter becomes the microphone. You can see we have a microphone built into the top there. And if you're filming outdoors on a windy day, you can actually connect a little dead cat to it as well. All you do is power everything on and it just works. Well, folks, that's basically it for my video. Two different ways in which you can connect a microphone to your GoPro Hero 10 Black. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.